Today, we'll explore a quick method for creating bar in bar charts. Keep watching to see how easy they are to make. Sometimes it's useful to view the relationship between two metrics. For example, in email marketing, that might be the number of emails you've sent and then how many people open them. In digital marketing, it could be how many people saw your advert and then how many people clicked on them. Or in a sales environment, how much profit you make versus total sales revenue. I often use a bar and bar chart visual to do this. Like you see in this example, using the store demo data built into Tableau. It helps put things into context and guides effective analysis, like why are Italy's profits so low compared to Spain's when they actually sell about the same amount in terms of revenue. A lot of people ask me how to do this, so today I'm gonna to show you how. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how easy and quick it is to do, and then we'll take a step back and I'll guide you step by step. So essentially, just bring in our profit sales, country, set the graph, and then move measure names to size, and lastly, analysis stack marks off. Okay, so you can see in about 10 seconds or less, we've now just built the bar and bar chart. Okay, so let's take a step back and see how I did this. So first off, we're gonna bring in the dimensions and measures we care about. So for measures, it's profit and sales and country. And Tableau's just gonna do what it thinks is best, but we're just gonna override that by clicking up here and going show me, and then side by side bar. And essentially where you see measure name here, what it's doing is putting, you know, saying, hey, there's one measure name, put it here, and then put the next one side by side. So if we remove this, or actually let's just put it into size for now. What's happening here is the two values or measures are actually now on top of each other. Not very helpful because this doesn't really tell us much and we can't look at compare these values and sticking on top. So to do change that, we're gonna go to analysis, stack marks and off because it was stacking them before, but we don't want that. So now we have what we want, um, which is great. But you may be asking, why did we put that measure name over on size? Well, let's just quickly remove it and see why. So if I take it off, Okay, it looks still good. We can compare the relative size. But what happens if the ordering was different? You know, let's just switch it around. Now, if sales are on top, oh, we can't see profit because this is way taller. Um, so we need to have another dimension so that we can see everything all at once. So I'm just going to make measure name, copy that and put it into size again. So no matter the ordering, we can now see everything, which is great. But I'm just going to flip that back. So that's it really, side by side bar turn stack marks off, change, make measure name the size as well and remove measure name from the columns. And you've now got your bar and bar. And just because it was bugging me, let's just show off Tableau's quick filtering capabilities and analysis. Uh, I wanna figure out why Spain and Italy are different. So we'll just quickly keep only these. Um, I reckon it's probably a product or category maybe. So we'll just whack that in. So we can quickly see Italy's profits are way less in furniture and technology. Let's just whack that out. And yeah, oh wow, okay, there's negative profit on some of these for Italy. A um, couple for Spain, but massive ones for Italy. So potentially we can just improve Italy's situation by going, why don't we stop or improve profitability of chairs, tables, storage, machines, and phones, and immediately We've now got an insight, we can act on it and improve the profitability of that company. So you can see how bar and bar charts make your data exploration easier and allow you to do effective analysis. And we knew where to look. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this or found this useful, please give the video a like or a share and um, be sure to subscribe to the channel to get more tips like this in the future. Thank you very much.